Okay, guys, today we are on page three, exercise one, okay? Now, our tenors are doing some crazy, crazy stuff today, going way up to high do, way, 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 way up to high do. And our baritones, today, we are going to officially start having our baritones read in the bass Left. Yes. We're going to start singing two-part sight reading today, okay? Wow. Now, let me explain to you how this happens. We're both, all of us are going to read the baritone line, and all of us are going to read the tenor line, okay? We're going to take turns reading each other's lines so that we can learn to read both clefts, okay? So, everybody stay on your feet. Here we go. I'm going to put this up on the screen for you to see, okay? We're on number one. Numero dos. Okay. We're on number one. And as you can see, number one has two lines. Okay? We have the tenor line, which is the line that we've all been reading for a while. Boys, eyes up here. We've all been reading the tenor line for a while. But then we also have the baritone line, okay? And this is the one that we're going to kind of start working on this week. So this is the bass clef. The names of the lines and spaces in the bass clef are different than they are in the treble clef, okay? So in the key of G, which is what we're in because we can see that our, our key signature has one sharp in it, so we're in the key of G. That means that this note right here in the baritone line, that is do, okay? If I'm calling this do, what am I going to call this? T. T, because it's right below do. Okay? So let's go through and let's everybody look at the baritone line on your sheet. Okay? And let's read the baritone line together and see how well you do. Okay? Starts on do. Here we go. Ready? Everybody should be reading the baritone line. It's the second line down, the one with the bass clap at the beginning. Is everybody with me there? Yes, ma'am. Okay, here we go. Ready? One and two and chanting, here we go. Do, ti, do, re, mi, re, mi, fa, 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 mi, re. Hand signs. Mi, fa. Okay, now I want everybody to sing this baritone line today. It's not too low, even for the tenors. Tenors, you're going to be able to sing this too, okay? So today, everybody's going to sing that baritone line. You with me? Yep. All right, here we go. Sing our broken chord first. Oops. And you've got broken chord. Switching to a different staff is not that crazy difficult, right? We just have to learn the new names of the lines and spaces. So, I want you to turn to the very front page of your packet. The very front page, okay? And um, let's write something in on the very front page real quick, okay? 
surrounding the fourth line and then the dot at the beginning of it is on the fourth line. Okay, now we're going to name our lines first. Okay, so my bottom line is G. Okay, now what is my bottom line in the treble clef? It's E, but here in the bass clef my bottom line is G. <coughs> my second line is B. Third line is D. Fourth line is F. And then A, right? Yes. And then the top line is A. Very good. Okay. Here is the saying for this one. Good boys do fine always. Good. How about this A C? Oh, it's A C G. Okay. The spaces are A C. E, and then the top one is G, just like we did in our sight reading today, right? The top space was G. Now, like, like Dane said, it spells ace, and I always think to myself it spells aceage, or you can say ace G. Okay, that's what the space is spelled. A C E spells ace, and then G at the end. Aceage. Okay. Hey, that's what I Now. Um, good boys do fine always, or there is somebody, I think somebody said one time, great big dudes fall a lot. Whoa. Okay? Whoa. Okay. <laughs> great big dudes fall a lot. Okay? Or you can, you might be able to think of a, a funnier one. Um, Turn on the ACG. Good boys. Ace. Good baritones. Good baritones. Oh, good a good bases date fine altos. That's another one that's popular. Oh, no. Good bases good date fine altos. Bases what? Oh. Okay, so there we go. Those are the, the names of our lines and spaces for the bass clef. We're going to start reading in bass clef all this week. We're going to have our tenors doing it, too, so that you guys can learn to swing back and forth between bass clef and treble clef. Because here's the thing. If you're a baritone, you pretty well exclusively are going to be singing in bass clef. If you're a tenor, you have to know how to read both because you will have to sing and read off of both. Sometimes yeah. the tenor part is written in the bass clef. Sometimes it's written in the treble clef. It's very inconsistent. So you will need to know, this is a skill that you will need to have. You will need to know how to read off of both. That's why we're doing this, okay? Yes, sir. Are we going to sing the, the tenor part? For <coughs> oh, we will add, be adding in the tenor part too. Not today. This is our new learned skill today. But yes, very soon we're going to start singing in baritone and tenor. Mm -hmm. Yep, it's coming quickly. All right, guys. Very well done today. That's all your start reading for today. Yes. Bye.